Hello, this is Veronica from Frida, Sara and Bobby. I would like to share one healing session uh, over the phone I had a couple days ago with um, one of uh, um, one of the followers of Iri Ledvinka a Czech. Hmm. I don't know if I'm uh, it's right to say spiritual guide, but sort of. Um, he uh, organizes sessions and um, also stays weekend weekend retreats. And um, I've been following him for about five years now. And in early years, especially in between COVID um, lockdowns and shortly after i literally visited nearly every um, event of his so and because i always carry carried dogs with me and especially the second one um, who has wheels is um, mm, remarkable and hard not to spot people remember me and in early years I used to ask questions about healing animals so some people remember me and this lady called me uh, about a dog and even without telling me what's wrong I could feel the emotion of um, thoughts that she allowed in her space that affected the dog's dynamics and it's it feel it 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 felt as if the dog um put on the energy the emotion of the of the thoughts the owner uh let in his in her in this situation it's her in her environment so I asked her, I can feel some dark clouds um, around the dogs, but they're not his. Whose clouds are they? And the lady started talking and, and I started slightly correcting her view. Uh, I started like sort of showing her what's the ego point of view and what's the What's her essence, what's her being, the light being, the being of the love, the, the light of love, God's love, we're the light of God's love. What's the point of, of the light being of God she is? And it started shifting. And what I do in my therapy when people are in total trust with me uh, they know me they know my energies they know my dogs they are okay with the price i ask they're okay with sharing <clears throat> what they want to share uh, often the healing starts even before we set the session, but this was not the this was not the case. This lady just called uh, suddenly, or out of the blue, and I told her just in the the first or second sentence I I said was, but I take money for this, and she was like, okay, well, so what's your price? And I said, like I I um, bail every ten minutes, and the first. 10 and second 10 minutes are the most expensive because I feel there I there goes the biggest amount of energy toward the other one and you will have uh, it's up to you how long you want to communicate with me but it has already happened I could feel that the energy had already gone over to her so I said it's done the healing is down and now we can sort of like talk about it but the energy has already the healing energy has already come over to you uh, so she agreed and we had 
event, uh, it turned out that we had a 30 minute session. Uh, and what I do um, is at some point uh, during the discussion between us, I ask the client if it's possible to take all of that that was that they share with me and if I can hand it over to the light and it's either possible that they have total trust in the light in it's actually their light being that it's everywhere in around us it's the highest self that's in the space all around us that I give it to to finally take it and bring it back purified the way it belongs to the person with the energies that are exactly designed for this light being in this life and um, when there is no hesitation it's done but here the lady hesitated and I could feel it so I asked her like what makes you what holds you back why there is no trust in your light being to take care of it why can't we hand it over to her to take her to take care of it herself the highest self of yours and I was really nice because she was ready to say that she was ready to to share the secret and once it was out and now i've got a healing wave is coming out of me while while sharing it with you so you can profit from that it, it it's beneficial to you if you are the kind of person who understands that we are um light beings of god that only express through this body, but we are not the body. Um, when we, when actually, what held her back from the um, trust to her own light being, to her own highest self, I could feel that this trust, in trust, the communication in trust that we have been had been having for some time built energy that was accumulated around i always feel it like it accumulates around my chest somewhere around my chest and then as a wave as a light wave it goes all the way to the person on the other side of the phone so i could feel the vibe, like the the healing wave i call it the i call this process um uh, igniting a healing wave so not only uh, have we um, or had we um, handed her, all sit her whole situation to the light being, but also we had built this energy in, in our with our in our communication and the healing wave of the energy of love to uh, it's actually the energy of love towards our creator who has made us so perfect it went all the way to her heart to boost her vibrations to bring her vibrations higher so that her highest light being her highest self can reach her and can finally provide everything what she has got for her and we ended up the uh, session by uh, she 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 um, told me that the what she eventually at the end she eventually told me what uh, had happened to her dog that he had jumped somewhere but didn't have enough energy to finish the jump and collapsed under like injured himself like fell on his chin or you know and couldn't bark and um and what happens in the situations because i started as a manual therapist 
with uh, a method called Dorn method for animals and then later it was reinvented into osteodynamics for animals. Uh, I um, um, had undergone these uh, courses of uh, manual rehabilitation for for animals, for, for dogs and horses, and I treated also cats this way. But now the more energy I have, the more understanding of what's God love, what God's love is, and that we are all light beings. And then I can only connect with the light being within ourselves, within animals, and it does all this wonder. It heals also the physical body. So I told her that uh, everything that, that that the animal is okay, nothing has nothing really has happened, and um, and then in case she needed, I I am still here available for a manual therapy, but now for at least for a year, I know that I don't have to touch really the animal so that to make the animal understand that nothing has happened to him or her. So when our session, half an hour session uh, finished and she paid me to my bank account, I went to meet the, the dog, Danny, just on distance. And I connected to his light being. And it was so powerful. I could feel how powerful the dog, the, the light being in the dog is. And it was, I was just bathing in light with him. I was bathing and bathing in light and I just couldn't stop doing it. I was so surprised how strong the light was and how beautiful it was. And this meeting at the level of the light being of this dog with my light being, it was just so, I was such a bliss. The next day I got a text message that the dog is totally okay. No blockages in the neck. You know, it affects the throat and this uh, little tiny bone in the V shape, I don't know how you call it, that it gets displaced and then the dogs have problem to bend the head, to bark and to to sip water well she said everything was okay so you know just bathing in the light being when i see the light being in animals just even sometimes it's enough i go there for a second and it heals them it brings the calm because they just remember they reminded who they are and they love it because we are not the bodies, but we're the light beings in the bodies. So it was such a beautiful healing. And we have got doggies to help us to return back to the energies, to the original, pure, calm, healing, loving energies of our light being and stop cooperating with other energies that don't carry light and life. Because light and life is only in the present moment. And when we try to reach the future or the past, there will be only darkness and not nice energies, not energies that cooperate with us and want the best for us. There will be the opposite. So that's why I'm saying this. I'm very happy if you heard me. <laughs> and if it were beneficial to you, if you could feel the healing waves that this message brings over to you then really good for you and I'm very happy and enjoy your light being within your body. It's you are it. You don't have to do anything to be it because you already are it. 
you can just ask the light being to help you to focus the attention to her or his being, to, to your light being, you know. Uh, you, just dis you just ask once and then just trust your light being that she or he will do it for you. It's that easy. Enjoy yourself.